As developers, we want to make sure the third-party libraries used in our code are safe to use, free of security vulnerabilities and license violations. In this video, we'll go through the two easy steps to get started with the JFrog IntelliJ IDEA plugin. We'll start by setting up our free JFrog environment right from within the terminal. Check the description of this video for this command. If you're already using the JFrog platform, you can skip this step. Add your details to complete the registration process and open your IDE. In this demo, note that IntelliJ, WebStorm, Android Studio, PyCharm, and Goland are also supported. We'll search for the JFrog plugin in the marketplace. If you're already using the JFrog platform, you'll need to set up your details. IntelliJ will now restart. And we can see our project being scanned for security vulnerabilities and a full dependency tree being built, identifying any found vulnerabilities from within the package.json, palm.xml, build.gradle, go.mod, etc. Clicking on the vulnerability, we can see the vulnerability information and impact path. Here we can see the green checkmark icon representing no security issues found. The other icons represent different severity levels, including issues within transitive dependencies. For example, this super test dependency contains a vulnerable dependency. So let's drill down to see what it is. First, we can see details like the artifact version, scope, references. And let's click on the super agent vulnerability. Here we have a detailed description as well as the impact path. Now let's take a look at the different filter options we have. Here we can filter according to severity, for example, view only the critical vulnerabilities. And we can also filter according to licenses and scope. Lastly, we can export the list of vulnerabilities to a CSV file. That's it, we're done. See this video's description for useful links to get you started. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.